Hey guys, so it's Tuesday morning at 20 after 9. My first client's for 10. She'll be here for quarter two. She usually is. So I'm just getting set up for the day. I had a nice weekend. Um, I got to the gym. I got to the gym yesterday on Monday, which doesn't always happen. Um, I got a lot done yesterday. Um, I got my nails done. So I've got the cat eye stuff on. So this is obviously the cat eye. And the blue is Bays of the Bay in the Artistic Gloss. So just getting set up for the day. I put my towels away. I'm putting my nail stuff that I brought home away, my foil. Um, and I'm putting away, I'm putting away a small uh, maritime order that I picked up yesterday amongst all of my chores. Um, it was a great sale for me this month. All of my gels were on sale, so I got a big pot of the clear. I have one that's about half full there. Um, I picked up a box of iPads for doing lash extensions and a package of mascara ones for the same. I have no extra foot files. I always like to keep a couple extra. They were not on sale, so I only bought one. I keep my foot files for my regular clients in bags with their names on them. I wash them and I put them in the bags and I'll use them usually like two or three times and then I'll throw them out and use a new one. So I don't need to keep a ton of extra foot files on hand, but I don't like to have none. Um, I picked up my regular black and green all season files, 180 over 100. I picked up a bag of Arbor Bands, so I use the um, e-file with the Arbor Bands. So I use a new Arbor Band for every client and I use the medium grit. So I get those at Maritime. And so all my gels were on. So I picked up um, a pot of a small pot of the warm pink. I, don't, I used to keep a big one of both on hand, um, but nowadays not doing a ton of French. That's about the only time that I'll use the pink opaque gels. Once in a while, I'll use them underneath like the really um, like pastel pinks sometimes to create like an opaque base. But in general, if I'm using a gel polish, I'll just use the clear. So I just keep small ones of the pink on hand now. I only have a handful of clients still doing French. And I picked up a fresh bottle of my Brisa Bond because mine is getting a little bit low. And I picked up a curl cream for a client that is in this week that asked me to pick that up. So that's it. Otherwise, I'm just putting away um, all the stuff I had brought home. I had brought home um, Bays of the Bay and the gold that I ended up putting on. But I had also brought home Peacock Plume and the more bluey um, cat eye because I couldn't decide. I Usually, I end up taking home at least um, a couple of options as far as um what I'm gonna actually put on my nails um I usually change my mind a couple of times before I actually end up doing them so I always like to bring a few options home because if I've only brought one kind guaranteed that is not the color that I'm gonna want to wear that week so I just thought I'd have a little chitty chat with you guys I'm gonna film sort of another vlog this week you guys seem to like that and I will check in with you guys a little later I just filmed a video this morning an empties video and then I was like I'm gonna go to the gym and I have like an excessive amount of makeup on to go to the gym but I'll just be one of those girls okay so excuse my hair slash I have a lot of makeup on it's a weird day I filmed a video and then I went to the gym so I was that girl at the gym with all the makeup on but I get home and the Bark Box is here. Charlie gets Bark Box every month, so I thought I would get him to open it for you guys. A little Bark Box unboxing. So this is the box. Comes like this. It's not like huge. Anyways, I usually put it on the floor and let Charlie sniff it and look at it. What's this, honey? What's this? Is that your Bark Box? Mommy opens it for you. Hard to do with one hand. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get it. We'll get it. I know. It's exciting. Wow. What's in here, honey? What's in there? Oh, my goodness. I always like these things. I'll just take these out and see. What do you think, boy? 
Is that is that toy for Charlie? Are you leaving? Wait, there's more. Charlie, you want to see the rest? Is there more? Is there what? What? But Charlie, <laughs> it's still got all the tags on it, honey. What's this? <gasps> is that another toy? <laughs> This is like the happiest day of the month for him. He gets so excited. So I'll go back and take the tags off those for him. But there's always two toys. He gets the um, tough, tough toys that are a little bit more durable. And then there's always two bags of like, I know honey, you're so excited. Two bags of all natural um, treats. So these are um, rabbit sliders with real cranberry. He'll love those. And then, so there's usually like a bigger treat and then like something a little bit smaller. So these say soft and Hi, honey. Are you excited? You have a string on your head. Okay. Um, these say soft and chewy, the great wave. So these are fish and cheese with turmeric. So I like them because they're like the low ingredient treats. And then there's also always something to chew. So some kind of like a... Usually it's something like this, which is like a jerky kind of thing, which is great because we don't usually do any kind of like raw hides. Otherwise he chews antlers. Um, so his toy collection is over here because we can't leave him with his toys. He does destroy them. Are you so excited? Is that a brand new squirrel? <laughs> well, you got any? Is it the best day? He doesn't even know what to do with himself. He's so stinking excited. Look at him. What you got? What you got? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't contain my life. <laughs> wow, is that your new favorite? He usually picks one and then destroys it like immediately and then we have to move on to the other. Hi guys, so I totally didn't vlog at all yesterday. <laughs> it was busy and I didn't have a lot of breaks and I didn't really have anything going on yesterday. It was kind of a regular day, so um, I have a little bit of time before my first client and I wanted to test a few things out. So recently I just started kind of getting into the whole stamping thing. I had tried it like years and years and years ago and <clears throat> it didn't work or sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. And now that we've got these, um, jelly stampers, it's kind of changed the game. I know I've talked about this in a previous video where I did a haul, um, but I've got all these stamping plates. If you know me at all, then you know that this is not excessive. <laughs> I can't have one, I have like a hundred. That's just the way that I operate. So what I'm finding with these is like some seem to work great and some not at all. So what I wanted to do was test some of them out and, whoops, Basically, I'm just gonna get rid of the ones that don't work. So consistently, this one here is working great. It's sort of like big patterns. Some seem to be like really, really finely etched, and I'm thinking that perhaps that might be the problem. So I think the best thing to do, this is the one I was struggling with. So this is like, it looks like dream catchers, and it's beautiful, but when you touch it with your finger, it feels almost perfectly smooth. So it's so finely etched that I don't find I'm able to get it off onto the stamper. It's just not coming off. I actually struggled with this one for like a half an hour on a client and I got all sweaty. It was a whole situation and I felt really bad because we ended up having to do a different pattern than what she had picked because we just could, could not get this one to work. So. I hate that. I find that very embarrassing when a client is here and something just does not work. Um, I feel like it makes me look like I don't know what I'm doing. So I want to test them all out and that way the ones I have I know work and the ones that don't I'm just going to get rid of them. I paid like a dollar I think for each one. I bought them on eBay. So I've got a little bit of time. I'm going to switch through the camera and we're just going to frig around with the stamper.
Okay, so it's embarrassing. <clears throat> After all of that, um, the one that I was having problems with just stamped totally fine. The only one that didn't was this one here, which I think, I'm pretty sure my friend Nancy gave to me. So Nancy, if you're watching, can you get this one to work? I can't get this one to work. It's the one with the flowers and uh, all the kissy faces and stuff on it. It's just not working. So I'm gonna set that one aside for now. Um, and the rest I'm gonna put away. So I would say the problem I was having before was just like lack of practice. So I have been stamping more and I think I'm getting the hang of like the flick of the wrist, picking it up with the stamper. I have this Born Pretty stamper and I have this larger Born Pretty stamper. I actually think I like the larger one better just as far as being able to place on the nail. You can really look through that. You can do that with this, but it's just a lot smaller. So I do like this one better. Um, but they all worked, so shows what I know. <laughs> um, but that's just part of, you know, with doing nails, if you do nails or you've had nails, you probably know this, it's not a perfect science. Some things work, some things don't. What works for one doesn't work for another. And, you know, sometimes it's just us, like maybe I'm having an off day. So as I've gotten more and more practice, Perhaps that's all it was. So now I'm really excited because I had only been using, I had only been letting people look at like one of my stamping plates, this one here with all the weird patterns on it, because it was the only one I was getting to work consistently, but it was me. So awesome. We've got lots of stamping plates now to work with and I've got probably 10 minutes before my client shows up. So I'm going to clean up this mess and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later and close off the vlog. One more thing I wanted to mention, I, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video or not, but I have recently discovered shop towels. So for my friends who are watching that are nail technicians, shop towels are life. They are amazing. So um, these are like the mechanics shop towels. I love these. They're actually like literally lint free. I buy all these like lint free wipes from all these different distributors. I've bought them on eBay. I've bought them everywhere and they're never lint free. I have like a hair on my face. Oh, um, they always say lint free, but they never are. And recently I saw, I saw somebody using them to wipe off like their acrylic brush. And I was like, Hmm, if those are lint free so I got a box of them from my brother-in-law who's a mechanic and they are they really are lint free so I've been using them like this for when I'm doing the stamping so I'm not making such a mess of my towels but I've also been cutting them up and using them as um, wipes for when I'm doing nails I have not picked a piece of lint out of someone's nails in so long it's amazing so I just wanted to add that little note Hey guys, um, so I didn't have time to finish vlogging while I was at work. I ended up having um, a cancellation for this evening, so I was supposed to work until... He coming up? He doesn't know. He wants to play. Um, <clears throat> I was supposed to work until 7, and my last client canceled because she was sick, so I was able to move my last client up um, a little bit earlier, so I actually got home super early for me. It's five o'clock on a Thursday. Normally I work until at least seven on Thursdays. So um, I'm home now and I thought I'd finish up the vlog and um, it's Thursday before Easter. So we're looking at Easter weekend this weekend and we were supposed to go visit my family um, tomorrow, but now I think we're going to probably go Saturday because they're calling for like a ton of rain tomorrow. So Saturday's looking really nice, so why not go on the nicer day for driving? So um, we're just going to get organized for that and maybe get together with some friends tomorrow. Um, and so I wanted to show you guys, I got some new business cards and service menus. So when I opened my shop five years ago, I think five years ago, anyways, when I opened my shop five years ago, my dad, who's a graphic designer, did my logos, my business cards, my signs, um, my brochures, all that stuff. He did all that stuff for me. It looked fabulous, still looks fabulous. Um, but my friend Kate, if you guys remember, if you've watched my decluttering my makeup collection video, which I'll link in the description box below, you remember my friend Kate. So she has a company called Perfect Pair Solutions 
And so she's doing um, marketing and um, social media management and like generally helping small businesses sort of amp up their business. So she offered to do me some new cards and brochures. Not that there was anything wrong with the ones I had, but just as like an update. Um, I've changed a few of my prices and I've changed um, some products and different things like that that were like listed in the service menu. So we decided to do something a little bit smaller, a little bit more purse sized and a little less wordy. So I think she did a really great job. She used the logo that my dad had done and I think they turned out great. So these are the business cards. So that's the front side and this is the back. So there's a spot there where I can put my um, appointments because I usually try to keep people like two or three appointments ahead. So I've got spots there to do um, those three appointments and she's got my address, my phone number, my email address, and then she's got all my social media as well as my YouTube channel information on the card. And then my service menus now look like this. So they used to be like a tri-fold um, full-size brochure, which was great and at the time, that was what I wanted. I had had something more like this before and I wanted something a little bit more, I don't know, official, like everybody I knew had brochures and so that's what I thought that I wanted as well. And so at this point, I decided that I didn't need like a whole page for facials. So we just basically streamlined what I already had, adjusted some prices, and I think it turned out really great. I love having these purse size cards, so they're double-sided which I love, um, so very little waste. And yeah, I'm really happy with them. I think she did a really great job. So I'll link her um, business uh, website below and I'll also link my dad's um, business below. He owns um, Hudson Creative Agency in Moncton. And um, yeah, they between the two of them, I've really, really lucked out in, um, you know, in this department, I've got great people, really creative people in my life, and I've been really lucky to have that. Um, yeah, so thanks, Dad. Thanks, Kate. I'm really happy with these. I'm excited to have just something new. It's nice to keep things fresh. Um, I'm very guilty of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And so I tend to, if I like something, I just keep it the same forever and it's good. It's good to keep things interesting, keep clients, you know, interested and excited about stuff. You know, they might look at this and see something on it that they didn't notice before because it's in a different layout or something like that. So I'm really excited to have those. I put a whole stack of them in my purse and a girl down the hall from me at my office took a bunch of my service menus already, which is great. Um, so I'm really excited to have those. They came like, I don't know, 12 days early. They weren't supposed to be here till the 10th. Um, but she got an email today that they had been delivered to my house. So she literally like drove over here, grabbed them for me and brought them into the salon for me to look at. I was so excited and she was excited to see them. So I'm really jazzed about that. Um, I thought maybe I'd sit up on the couch cause Charlie might want to, you know, join us, but he's just over there chewing his bone, living his life. Um, also apparently my sequins on my shirt make my chest really red so if anyone's wondering I'm not having a reaction to anything I'm just really sensitive um and update on Botox because a couple people asked um not as much movement I've got what am I in not quite a week in uh would be a week tomorrow since I had it done and they did say 12 days before I would see the full effect but I definitely have way less movement I don't have that big crease in between that I had before, I'm thrilled. I'm really pleased that I did it. Um, I actually feel like, this is probably gonna sound crazy, but I made that face so much, um, especially when I was working, like if I was doing nails and I was concentrating, I was just making that face all the time to a point where I would wake up in the morning making that like furrowed brow face. And sometimes I'd wake up in a, with a headache and I've noticed in the last probably four days or so that it's almost like tension has left my face. It's like a really, really cool, awesome thing. So I'm really excited about that. I'm happy that I did it. So I thought I'd give you guys a little update in case anybody was wondering. Um, also, one of my clients 
asked me today if I would do a video on how I do my hair, which is very, very simple. But uh, let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys would like to see. I'm certainly not a hairstylist, um, but if you'd like to know how I do like the beachy wave, um, it's really easy. I could certainly do that for you guys. And I hope you have a great Easter weekend. I hope everybody's got lots of time off, gonna eat some chocolate and have a nice meal with the fam jam. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.